artifacts under build we are gonna select ci cd ci and let's save it so that we don't lose it all right okay and under job task add job search for data bricks and here data bricks script deployed it's already installed and click on so under data bricks now that it is installed select data bricks deploy notebooks and click on add now select the data bricks notebook deployment and uh, configure the task by providing the right values so provide these values azure region and i'm gonna give the source path and the data bricks token which we generated just now copy that and that's the data bricks barrier token i'm gonna click on save it's okay um, let's provide the barrier let's provide the data bricks barrier token keys we copied earlier let's go back to the main pane and click on pipeline and uh, select the continuous deployment ci cd demo ci trigger and enable the trigger and click on save and select ok now close this dialog box and click on create release and click on create so now you can see that the release has been created now we'll wait for this release to complete or show as successful before proceeding further we are looking to see some changes happening into the stages so it should complete as stage one succeeded at the same time you can click on view releases um, you can see the changes which is happening in the back end so there is definitely activities happening within the stage and after that we are going to go back to the data bricks page workspace and shared and we should see a notebook folder appear in the folder as well so let's go to the data bricks workspaces select workspaces click on shared we should see the notebook appearing here so let's go back to the release let's wait for this to complete and then we can um, validate that i just clicked on stage one and looks like it is successed or succeeded let's go back to pipeline let's close this button pipeline you can see that the stage one is succeeded we can redeploy it if you want um, or let's go back to the shared data bricks we should be able to see yeah i can see that the notebook um, is appeared on the shared so the release uh, or the ci cd implementation to end-to-end -end deployment uh, is complete now um, let's learn how to deploy the solution to production so to do that um, let's go back to the azure portal and let's search for the data bricks prod instance uh, select that click on launch workspace click on the user settings click on settings um, under user click on developer um, under access token click on manage generate new token uh, we're going to give a name called databricks access token for prod let's keep it 90 days click on generate copy the token i'm just going to keep the token for future use did that disappear okay let me do that again generate new token give a name databricks access token for prod click on generate i'm going to copy this and click on done and let's modify the value to the new value all right so now we have the token ready now let's go back to the azure devops page let's go back to the root let's select i'm gonna leave this page because we completed that select the ci cd data bricks demo select pipelines and select releases in the new release pipeline um, let's click on edit and on the design surface select stage one and if you hover your mouse uh, just below the activity you can see that you can add and clone buttons display so you can see add or clone so we're going to select clone and we can see that there is a clone of the stage one is selected 
So let's select that. That will open um, the stage name. We, are, we can modify the stage name here. I'm going to say that push it to production. And now you can select the one job, one task. Uh, anyway, I'm going to save it for in the meantime. Click on save. In the list of tasks, we are going to select the Databricks notebook deployment. Give the new details. I'm going to provide the new token we select copied scroll down and you can click on save and OK. So now at the top you can click on create release. Click on create. Now release 2 has been created. You will see the pipeline is in progress. Now if you go exit out of the pipeline, close this dialog box, you can see it has been created. Now if you um, on the message bar you can see that now uh, it has been created. You can click on this release and you can click on open in a new tab that actually shows you the release flow as well. You can see that now it has been manually triggered which is the artifact and what process the stage is. The stage 1 is in progress. How many tasks was there? Uh, is it completing and next it is going to push it to production. Now the stage 1 is succeeded. Now it is pushing to the production. So that's an end-to-end -end lab to implement CI, CD, end-to-end -end deployment for analytics. Um, I hope you learned something new. Um, I look forward to seeing you on another video. Until then, take care.